Hey everyone, today we're making a delicious acai power smoothie. Now, right now we all need to keep our, you know, immunities built up and, and just be strong. So we need some really good nutrition and this smoothie is it. I drink this a lot and I tell you, I'm using frozen blueberries and some acai berries. That's our main flavor. And we're using lots of other things I'm gonna show you in a minute, but it is just creamy and decadent and delicious. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. So before we get into the recipe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. And that way you'll be notified every week when my new videos come out and we're always cooking up something delicious and healthy. So here's what we need for our power smoothie. I have a packet of acai puree, which I got at Trader Joe's. We need some organic frozen blueberries. I got those at Costco. A couple of bananas. I peel them and then toss them in the freezer and freeze them. Make your smoothie nice and creamy. I have some raw pumpkin seeds raw walnuts, I have some hemp hearts, date paste, or you can use just regular whole dates if you have a high speed blender. I have a piece of avocado I'm gonna to toss in there. It makes it for some good fats. I have coconut milk with its full fat as well. And I have some almond beverage here that is unsweetened. All right, so with the acai packet, you're gonna to want to, um, God, I gotta hurry up and use this before it melts. Um, I break it up into pieces because it just makes it easier for the blender. So I take it out onto my back porch and I just crack it over the concrete back there and it breaks it up into nice pieces. So you wanna just, you can see it just kinda breaks up into some pieces and it's, all right. So acai is really good for you. It's got a lot of antioxidants, a little bit messy here. Um, lots of fiber, it just lots of good nutrition. And I'm using, of course, the frozen organic blueberries. Toss those in. Next goes my frozen bananas. You can put in as much as you want. They make the smoothie nice and creamy. Now, feel free to improvise here. You can add whatever you wanna add to this thing. It's really simple, but this combination of things works really well. I take a small handful of, of uh, pumpkin seeds and I just, I just throw in a few. You can certainly use other nuts. Almonds would work too. I just like the walnuts. Just throw in a little, little handful of that. You get a lot, of, you know, a lot of protein in this. Hemp hearts. I've got a serving of that, which is like three tablespoons. Now here's the date paste. Now I have just a little bit left. I'm going to make some more. I'm just about out. I have a video that will show you how to make this. I'll leave the link in the description of the video. Click down there where it says show more. So I just throw in a... You know, just a, I'm gonna put all this in actually. And you can vary it. Now, if you don't wanna do the date paste, you can throw in some dates. I got mine from Costco and they're pitted and you can just, if you have a high speed blender, you can just toss the whole thing in there and it will, you know, pulverize it. Now I have some leftover avocado here. And I'm gonna to toss that in for the good fats. And this also makes your smoothie super creamy. Here's my, I have some leftover coconut milk. This is full fat. And then the almond milk is just to get the right consistency. So I'm guessing here, I put in maybe a third of a cup of the coconut milk and I'm just gonna pour some of this in what I think you, you need. And uh, it all depends on how frozen all of your fruit was too, and then we'll place it on to our blender. Blend away. All right, I want you to have a look at this. Thick and creamy. So I happen to have one of these little straw things. Instead of using paper straws, this one just kind of, you see how that worked? Just kind of came together. And uh, it's reusable, of course, and washable and all of that. And so I'm gonna stick it in there and take a taste. Man, that is one delicious smoothie. It is creamy and, and just decadent. I mean, it just it satisfies. It tastes like a milkshake. 
but it's got a lot of nutrition and you can cut back on the sugar even more by leaving the dates or the date paste out and just go solely with the blueberry sweetness and the banana and you're good. So that's up to you and, and feel free to mix and match and add things to this and do whatever you want. I stick with the acai and the blueberry as my base flavor, but what would go really good with this? Cocoa powder, right? Get some really good cocoa powder, put it in a tablespoon and now you've really enhanced the flavor of the acai because it sort of tastes like that anyway. So thanks so much for watching, share the video and leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. So we'll see you next time.